News reports from Al Jazeera reports that the Ukraine officials have reported massive Russian attacks on energy facilities and infrastructure in the capital Kiev, southern Kiev area, and not eastern uh, Kharkiv, with authorities urging civilians to take cover. Russia's state news agency TASS has reported eight people were killed and 23 injured in Ukrainian shelling in the Russian controlled Lansak region. And we think the idea that uh, you can just buy a way to victory sits well with Washington's ideologies and may have some bearing on American's political system. But it is demonstratively not true in Ukraine. Spending more and more is not getting the job done. At best, it is delaying the inevitable. Washington has trouble accepting this for obvious reasons, but mostly because they do not care about the Ukrainians. The more and more weapons the U.S. is pumping into Ukraine, the difficult it takes to get the war under control. We start this news hour with breaking news from Ukraine. At least five cities, including its capital Kiev, have been hit by as many as 60 missiles launched by Russia. People in parts of Kiev are being urged to take shelter after the city was shaken by three blasts. Ukrainian officials say Russia's military has targeted critical facilities in Kharkiv, Krividi and Zaporizhia. Deaths are being reported in regions including Dnipro and Luhansk. Well, Rory Challens is live for us in Kiev. And can you just run us through where some of these strikes have been and, and just how significant the damage uh, has been as well? It's been another tense and wearisome day in the campaign that Russia is launching against civilian life. Uh, in Ukraine. Another day where people had to run to the air raid shelters or look to the skies as cruise missiles whistles over their heads. At least 60 uh, were launched by Russia. Now, uh, air defence had significant success in shooting many of those down, but air defence is not infallible, particularly when there are so many missiles launched. So here's the damage as we understand it so far. Uh, Kharkiv, uh, a, a big city, completely without power uh, that we know of. Uh, in Krivirig, a, a central city, uh, two people killed, five wounded when a residential building was hit there. Odessa in the south, there are power shortages. Here in Kiev, uh, the capital, as you can see, the low cloud cover uh, meant that when I was looking around earlier trying to spot either the, the trails of air defence or uh, plumes of smoke on the horizon of successful strikes, I couldn't. All I could hear uh, was the boom, boom, boom reverberating around the city uh, as they tried to shoot uh, the missiles down. Quite eerie, I have to say. Now, we know that there were uh, some successful strikes. There are power issues in parts of, of the capital. The metro system was shut down so that people could use those stations as bomb shelters. Uh, and the mayor, Vitaly Klitschko, has said that there are severe water, running water disruptions uh, around the city, but they're trying to get that back up and running as quickly as possible. And that's going to be the mission for the next uh, few days or so, get those systems running again, get the backup generators going, get the transformers going, uh, try to show to Russia that this is essentially a country that is not being beaten, that it's unbreakable. Okay, Rory Challenge uh, for us in Kyiv, thank you.